The famous The Secret Lives of Mormon Wives series on Hulu revolved around their turbulent relationship. And now it appears that, just a few weeks after Taylor said they were still having problems, she and her intermittent partner Dakota Mortensen may have called it quits. Taylor, 30, ignited rumors over the weekend that she had once more abandoned Dakota after uploading two mysterious videos to TikTok. In the opening video, Taylor became obviously upset as she posed for the camera and wrote, not me morphing into 2022 me. Taylor notably came out as a member of a Mormon swinging group in Utah in 2022, which resulted in her divorce from her first spouse, Tate Paul. She posted another video of herself watching the secret lives of Mormon wives while nursing her newborn son, Ever True, on Sunday night, following her heartfelt TikTok. She captioned it, saying, Too triggering to watch the show, but at least I wanted to see my son's birth. Early in April, Taylor and Dakota welcomed Ever. The mother of three already has a boy, Ocean, age four, and a daughter, Indy, age seven, with her ex-husband Tate. Taylor acknowledged last month that she and Dakota were having relationship issues. She remarked, We're good. We're still going through things. We're going through our challenges and our triggers, but overall, I think we're in a better place and are trying to be better partners to each other. She then acknowledged that she still wasn't ready to marry Dakota, confirming that they still haven't got engaged yet. Regarding Taylor's relationship, fans have flocked to her TikTok page with comments, with many speculating that she might have broken up with Dakota. One said, You never do reality shows with your partner because you had a bad feeling the show would ruin her and Dakota. You deserve better, was written by someone. It's necessary for you to remain alone for a while in order to recuperate from being a mother and to be able to select a good spouse. A few of Taylor's co-stars added their own remarks to the conversation. There will be no better chapter than this one. Maysai Neely replied, Lean on us. We got you, baby. Michaela Matthews added, Always here for you, BB. While on a press trip to New York to promote their Hulu series, Taylor and Dakota shared their last photo together on September 12th. It happens after Taylor acknowledged that the worst night of her life was her intoxicated arrest in 2023. In an episode of her Hulu series, the infamous TikTok influencer sobbed as she recalled the disastrous night that saw her charged with assault after going ballistic on Dakota. That was the worst night of my life. Getting arrested. I was ultimately found guilty of severe assault and sentenced to three years of probation, she remarked. Taylor was coping with the aftermath of her widely publicized swinging sex scandal and the anguish of an unplanned ectopic pregnancy at the time of her arrest. She said on the Hulu show, It's been a challenge going from the scandal to relationship to miscarriage to arrest to being pregnant again. I was so stressed out after the arrest. She went on, I was videotaped leaving the jail, and that was posted online right away. It was actually a godsend. It aided in my awakening. Taylor disclosed in an interview earlier this month that she has been seeing a therapist following her incarceration. It proved to be an extremely valuable lesson, she said to host Nick Vile. I think that night went well too because I really got the help I needed, she said. I enrolled in classes, therapy, and EMDR right away. It served as the wake-up call I needed. The mother of three divorced Tate after a dramatic scandal, and she later fell in love with real estate agent Dakota a fellow TikTok celebrity and former reality star who gained notoriety for disclosing his drug and alcohol abuse on social media. Things worsened, though, in February 2023 when Taylor was taken into custody in a domestic violence incident following a chair she threw at Dakota, striking her daughter Indy, who was five years old. According to court documents, she reportedly hurled her phone at him, inciting him to fear for his life. According to the documents, Dakota ordered Taylor to stop hurling objects at him as he was standing close to her daughter, who was five years old, but she persisted. The infant eventually suffered a goose egg damage to her skull from one of the chairs, according to the reports. According to body cam evidence, Dakota's refusal to bring a very drunk Taylor to a performance set her off, and that's what started the brawl. After going ballistic, the Mormon mother tossed the chair, inadvertently striking her daughter. In the suburbs of Salt Lake City, the influencer told police she was so afraid she had peed herself. She was charged with a Class A misdemeanor of child abuse with injury, a Class B misdemeanor of criminal mischief, and two charges of third-degree felony domestic violence in the presence of an injured kid. 
She did, however, manage to work out a plea agreement and admitted guilt to aggravated assault. As a result, the remaining counts were withdrawn. Following the incident, Dakota stated that Taylor is a good mom. She is currently so broken. He said, I try to help her. She's a good mother, but she's going through a lot at the moment. Taylor has had a difficult year. She has been battling. She is tormented by remorse over the affair that ended her marriage.